Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to Fundu Testers. From this session, we are going to work on a real APIs, which is a Trello APIs. Using Trello APIs, we will see how we can generate a token, how we can understand API documentation, and from documentation, how we can add APIs into our postman, how we can make collections. And plan is to achieve end-to-end real-time business scenarios. For those APIs, you are going to write a test cases. And then uh, like a real industry standards, we are going to create a collection. We will run the collection and we will generate a reports. And apart from that, we are trying to achieve that if we have dynamic data stored in an Excel file or somewhere else, then we are trying to read those dynamic data in a post while running a collection. So these things we are going to discuss in further sessions. In this, we are going to discuss about uh, what is a Trello. And uh, initially, we have to generate a API keys and API token for a Trello op. Otherwise, we will not able to execute the Trello APIs. So this session is going to very, very important for you. If you are not able to understand how to generate a key and how to generate an API token, then further you are not going to execute the Trello API. So make sure you are following each and every step and you should be able to generate a token. Otherwise, I, I request you to please watch this video multiple times till you are not able to generate correct API keys and API tokens. So, let's get started. And if you are new to the Fundu Testers, don't forget to like and share this video and don't forget to subscribe to Fundu Test. From next sessions, excitement will be double. Camera rolling action. So for that, uh, first of all, we are going into a Trello website. We have to Google Trello and we need to click on the first link, uh, login to Trello and then we have to continue with her uh, Google login and this is the simple procedure. We need to like a normal website. We have to do the login procedure. We have to do the continue, continue and then login. This is how Trello board gonna look like. So basically here we are going to create a workspace. Workspace means uh, for a entire team what are the tasks they are going to work on for that we are going to create a workspace it's like a team and then inside the workspace we have a multiple projects so for example x team is working on a a b and c project then we can create a b and c project and there we will have a multiple tasks so this is how trello board gonna look like i give you a simple example so let's say uh, some guests are coming at our home and we have to prepare a food so we are dividing tasks between entire family members. So for example, gents are going to uh, purchase a groceries and other required items. And apart from uh, kids will start washing the vegetables. And then a few of the ladies will start chopping the vegetables and a couple of the ladies will serve the food. So this is how we can divide the task between the uh, multiple people. Similar way on a Trello board, we can create a workspace and we can assign a task to the appropriate team member and we can track those activities. So this is the purpose of a Trello application. See here I have created a multiple workspace like Nissan, software testing, Ramwala workspace and Trello workspace that is by default and here I can create a workspace. So there is an option to create a board, create a workspace. For example, I'm clicking on a create a workspace and I am giving a name YouTube tutorial. And then I can select a type of a workspace. Let's say I, I am creating for educational purpose. So I can select education. And if I want to assign a members, then I can assign a member here. And now you can see the workspace for a YouTube tutorial got created. And inside that, we can create a project. So for example, our purpose is to teaching API. So I'm giving a name teaching APIs. And here Trello is providing a basic project structures so based on that i can select any project structure so here i am selecting a teaching weekly planning and then i am creating a workspace so this is how trello boards gonna look like now the main part is we are going to work on this api and our aim is to generate a token to generate a token we have to google uh, trello api documentation and here we can see the couple of apis are listed so these all are the apis this all apis we are going to work on and to generate a token, to generate a token, we have to again Google Trello API token and then we have to click on the API introduction, which is the first link. And here we can see Trello.com.powerups admin URL. We need to click on this to generate an API key 
and API token. So we will get a three values basically API key, API token and secret. I want a power of screen and here we have to provide a basic information like a purpose of uh, this integration. I'm doing for the YouTube API demo and then we have to give a access of particular workspace and here we can pass any URL. I'm passing a project URL and we have to define the email address and the support address. So I'm copying this email. We are I'm passing same email id for email and support and author is myself i am specifying this up and i'm creating so now we have to go to api key we need to save this first and then we have to go to api we need to click on generate api key and here we can see the api keys are generated so here we need to copy these two values and don't share with anyone so if someone will have these values then they can access your trello board so make sure this is the confidential data you should not share with anyone else so i'm copying this data on a notepad so i can use in a further tutorials and then we have to click on the token and then we have to click on the allow so once we allow this is the api token so api key and api token is a most important thing so i hope you understand how to generate a token it's a simple procedure we have to just go to the power ops and then provide basic details and then we will get an api key secret and then again we have to go to uh, click on the token and then we have to generate an api token so as a so i hope you understood i hope you understood this steps as a homework please create a trello api token and api key from next session onwards we are going to work on a trello api see you there Thank you so much.